One of the essential things that's so exciting about teaching here is that teaching matters. It matters a great deal. Uh, so that there's a corporate culture that says teaching is our first priority. One of the things that we do with our um, interviewees that we're trying to recruit now uh, is to bring them into the classroom. And that's where I saw some of the most magnificent teaching um, I I'd ever experienced. So this, in addition to really the collegial nature of all of the professors here, I think was you know, really one of the most important things to me, looking for a place um, to, to grow. McGeorge didn't see a great divide between those skills our students learn for to be practicing attorneys and those more analytical skills that we teach in the classroom. It was the only institution I talked to that could really see the, the interchange between those two aspects of legal education. Many law schools, and I've visited at a number of law schools, what they value there more is just writing and research. It seems like that's what the professor's first goal is, and teaching is something that they do just to pay the bills. I think at McGeorge, we really balance the two. Legal scholarship and teaching are intertwined in my mind, and so uh, I see it less as a juggling process and more as a process of one informing the other. So when I teach, I will often bring in what I happen to be working on at the moment. I do international trade law, I also teach contracts law, and often my research uh, figures prominently on some issue of the day. We've always had a very strong commitment to teaching, and one of the things about our hiring process is that we focus really heavily on whether a candidate is going to be a successful classroom teacher. It's not enough to be brilliant. It's not enough that you're going to be a productive scholar. You've got to have some fire in your belly so that you'll be a devoted teacher. It's not just about churning out these teams of lawyers, but we are actually churning out you know, the next leaders uh, uh, of the next generation.